I'm standing here beside the gravestone of Thomas McKeever in the new cemetery in Dunmore. It was at this spot that he was buried on the 21st of May 1921, the day after he was murdered. The gravestone was erected by his mother and brothers in Kinsale. This is the story of Thomas McKeever, a chemist from Kinsale, County Cork, who was killed by Crown forces in Dunmore, County Galway, during the Irish War of Independence. Thomas McKeever was born in Bantry, County Cork, on the 15th of October, 1883. His father, Henry, was a constable in the RIC and was stationed in various towns and villages in West Cork, including Bantry, Crookhaven and Skull, before finally settling in Kinsale. Around the turn of the century, his father left the RIC and became a vintner in Kinsale. The decline in the fishing industry led to the closure of his licensed premises some years afterwards. Thomas worked as an assistant in a pharmacy in Kinsale at this time, earning between two to three pounds per week. Following his father's death in 1918, Thomas studied pharmacy and qualified as a chemist. In October 1920, Thomas McKeever came to Dunmore to manage Stafford's Medical Hall. His arrival coincided with the commencement of a reign of terror in the country as black and tans and auxiliaries were sent by Britain to mount a counterinsurgency against IRA activity. Although not actively involved in the struggle for independence, Thomas McKeever strongly supported the nationalist cause. He had joined the Irish Volunteers in 1914 and was an active member of the Gaelic League. And he wore the fáinne to show his proficiency in the Irish language. By early 1921, the War of Independence had escalated, with the national newspapers reporting daily accounts of ambushes and shootings, and rising death tolls for Crown forces, IRA and civilians. April 1921 saw a curfew imposed on Dunmore from the hours of 8pm to 4am, following an IRA attack on an RIC patrol on the Tomb Road near Browns Grove, in which an RIC district inspector was injured. While in Dunmore, Thomas became a popular member of the community. Locals remembered him as friendly, unassuming and inoffensive. He was a daily mass goer and communicant and sang in the local chapel choir. He also developed a relationship with the local woman, Tess Murray, a primary school teacher, and they became engaged only months after meeting. I'm standing here in Castle Street, Dunmore. This is the location where Glencoe House stood. Now, Glencoe House was one of the largest mansions of its type in the region. It was built by Farrell MacDonald, who owned a number of stores in the North Galway region. And at the time, in 1921, Glencoe was occupied by J.J. Nestor, who was uh, a grocer in the town and a leading member of the GAA. Thomas McKeever was a lodger in this house and in the early hours of Friday the 20th of May 1921 he was taken from this house and brutally killed. In the early hours of Friday the 20th of May 1921 Thomas McKeever was unexpectedly awoken from his sleep in Glencoe to find three strangers around his bed. McKeever shared the room with another lodger, James Gilmore, who worked as an excise officer. Gilmore stated that he was awoken at around 2 a.m. by voices in the room. He saw three men around McKeever's bed. One had a flash lamp, one wore motor goggles, and one had a soft felt hat and overcoat. He heard them tell McKeever to get up. He declined and wanted to know what they wanted with him. 
They pulled down the clothes and McKeever left the bed himself. He put on his trousers, coat and waistcoat, and while putting on his boots, asked again what they wanted with him. He was told that he was to come out at once, but he refused to go until they gave him assurance that he would be all right, telling the intruders, I am not afraid of death. I am quite prepared to meet my God. If you want to shoot me outside, you might as well shoot me here. One of the men then left and appeared to confer with a colleague outside. On returning, he and the other men caught hold of McKeever and dragged him out the passage. About 15 minutes later, Gilmore and J.J. Nestor, who was awoken by the commotion, heard shots, fired further out the castle road. This is the spot in Clunine, about a half mile from Dunmore, where the body of Thomas McKeever was found on the morning of Friday the 20th of May 1921. His body was found by local people at about 8 a.m. in the morning. He was lying here on his left side with numerous bullet wounds. He also had a sign across his chest stating traitor killed by the IRA. Thomas McKeever's murder caused huge shock and sadness in Dunmore. A military inquiry held at Tum the following day described his death as being due to bullet wounds caused by a person or persons unknown. The local IRA immediately repudiated any involvement in his murder. Martin Mannion, an IRA officer in the local battalion, called to Dean Mackin, parish priest of Dunmore, and paid him five pound to say high mass for McKeever. Dean Mackin obliged and even accused Crown forces from the pulpit of the murder of Thomas McKeever. The commandant of the North Galway Brigade of the IRA also issued a letter stating that they had nothing to do with his murder. To this day, his death remains a mystery. He was an innocent man with no apparent enemies. He was more than likely killed by black and tans to simply further terrorise Irish people during the War of Independence. As I'm sitting all alone in the gloaming, it might have been but yesterday that we watched the fisher sails all homing till the little herring fleet at anchor lay. Then the fisher girls with baskets swinging came running down the old stone way. Every lassie to her sailor lad was seen. Welcome back to Van. 